Hello, do you have a fear of traffic lights? If you do, then don't worry because you're not alone. I work with people online all over the world to help them overcome their fear of driving. And without doubt, the fear of traffic lights is in the top three things that I work with on a daily basis. So what's all this about? Why do you have this fear? Where does it come from? And how can you get rid of it? Well, first of all, let's go over what's probably happening with you when you get to a red light. Many people say that when they get to a stoplight and they stop the car, they have this wave of panic comes over them. They start to get a feeling in their face, like the face is tingling. The fingers start to tingle. Their heart rate increases. Their palms get sweaty or clammy. Do you also find that your legs start shaking? Sometimes your feet might feel numb. Well, don't worry because these are very common symptoms that I work with and I've helped people overcome this in as little as one session, which is one to two hours long. So why do you get this problem? So what's happening is when you get to this red light, your mind is being triggered into remembering something from the past. You won't know what that something is and it will probably have nothing to do with driving whatsoever because if you haven't seen my other videos, I will often explain how the symptom isn't really the problem. So driving is not the issue. The red light isn't the issue. Stopping isn't the issue. It's something else entirely. So what we do when we work together online is we'll go back through your mind and find what that event is. Now I forgive you one example of a client I've worked with in the past. This person had a problem where every time they got to a red light and they stopped, they felt panicked. When we went back, it actually turned out that at the time they stopped at the red light, they were just a child, they were about five or six years old, sitting in the back of the parents' car, and the parents were having a huge row, they were screaming at each other, and one of the parents got out of the car, slammed the door, and marched off. Now that memory was something they had completely forgotten about, and that itself wasn't the main thing that caused the problem, but it was very, very similar and when this person realised, they said, hey, I haven't thought about that for decades, that was ages ago. And you see, it's something like that that's got stuck in your mind. And when you get to this red light, the red light is triggering that thought. Now, it isn't always that simple. Sometimes it can be something completely unrelated, such as a time I've known someone who was playing football. And the football match was their reason for being stuck at a red light. Why? Because when they were playing the football game, it was a really important game that their team needed to win, to win this cup. But what happened that match? Well, can you think of what could happen in a football match that's got some symbolism to do with red lights? Did any of you guess that this person I was working with committed a foul and they were shown a red card? They were sent off and they felt ashamed and embarrassed and humiliated because their team was relying on them, that team went on to lose the match and it was all because they'd got a red card and been sent off and their team was a player down and they were like the star player. So do you see how that red card, the red light, being in front of everyone on the pitch, being ashamed and embarrassed, later on in life when that person got to a red light, their mind was firing up this feeling of that football game where they got the red card and they were embarrassed, they were ashamed in front of people. You see, like sitting at a red light, being in front of people, feeling ashamed, feeling embarrassed. Do you see the link between the red light, the red card, being in front of a crowd of spectators and players, and being in front of people on the road? You see how there's a link? Now, it isn't always that obvious, but that's why you've got the problem. Your mind is just firing up this old memory that it doesn't need to do. And this is why you can fix this in one session, not always, it can take longer, but many times it's just a case of finding what that memory is, rethinking it, because of course, getting a red card in a football game has got nothing to do with being at a red light in a car. But the thing is, your mind doesn't know that, because time does not exist in your mind. So, when it fires up that feeling of the football game, it feels just as real now as it was back then. So at some point in your life, you've had that feeling before. And I know you'll probably think, well, I haven't because I've thought about this. You won't find it just by thinking about it. 
This is where my special training comes in. I know how to access these thoughts and memories from the past. And it isn't as easy as just thinking about it. You won't find it just by thinking about it. So if you want help with this fear of traffic lights, contact me through my website, firstdrive.com. We'll have a quick free call to just discuss it and see if I can help you. And then we'll take it from there and you can have the problem gone. Sometimes I've done it within a few hours of people contacting me. So they send me an email at 10 o'clock in the morning. I get straight onto a call with them. And by 12 or 1 in the afternoon, the problem's gone. And they can go out driving, stopping at red lights and feeling no pressure at them. It's worth pointing out as well that once you fix this, it will very often, if not always, have a knock-on effect in other areas of your life. You see, this problem probably shows up in other ways. And I'm going to say something now which will make some of you think I'm kind of psychic or I've got some special power, but I haven't. This is just my experience because I've been doing this for a while. If you have a problem stopping at traffic lights, do you also have a problem with public speaking? Now, some of you will be thinking, how did you know that? <laughs> because I've worked with so many people and this is a very common thing that comes up. People who have a fear of traffic lights very often have a fear of public speaking. And what if I told you that fixing your fear of traffic lights will also fix your fear of public speaking? Wouldn't that be nice? And what's public speaking got to do with traffic lights? Can you work it out? Well, if you want help with your problem, contact me through my website, firstdrive.com. Check out these other videos on the screen. I've got over 80 videos now on driving anxiety and over 600 on driving. Thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you again soon for more videos.